Um, barbering is um, giving me the platform to um, challenge myself continually and, and also to create opportunities for others to grow as well, um, to network, to uh, express my creativity um, and just be around some, you know, pretty great people. So uh, Faded Image, that's my brand, that's my shop, that's my business. Faded Image came to me um, just brainstorming. Uh, I love to travel a lot and you always uh, see these stores, uh, Sharper Image. Um, it's an electronic store. They were always on the cutting edge side of technology and, and just being able to provide that uh, higher end service or, uh, to their clients. and. Um, it, it, it had me thinking that, you know, how, how big my vision is, I wanted to create something, a brand that could touch all bases, but also was about quality instead of quantity. And so Faded Image came to me in that sense. And then I uh, just started running with it, man. I started, uh, started uh, putting quality haircuts out there, quality services out there, created a brand I wanted it to be something that anyone could connect with, wanted to work with, wanted to be a part of a movement um, worldwide. So uh, there's, I'm, I'm in the beginning steps right now of Faded Image still. I, I feel like I'll always be a student and, 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 and the vision's so vast. I just love, you know, connecting and getting everyone a part of it, so. Right now, I'm sorry. Ben. How long have you been here for, Ben? Uh, I've been here almost two years now. So you're like an OG then? <laughs> yeah, now, now, yeah, yeah, for sure. I wish I could stop losing hair, man. That's really <laughs> making me upset right now. You see these corners? <laughs> Same boat right now. If it goes back any higher, I'm about to just shave it, be a bald bearded barber. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Colorado Springs. What made you land here and kind of like the barber, the barber scene here in, in Colorado Springs? Uh, to be honest, man, uh, 
I've always had a connection with barbering, but I never thought it was uh, gonna be my career. Um, growing up, barbering and haircutting, you know, stylist, like, there was kind of a stigma on it, like, oh, that's not a real career, that's not a real, you know, uh, uh, job, but in all honesty, it doesn't matter what you do in life, man. I, I've always been drawn to success and, and successful people. And so, I mean, you could be a janitor and, and be a millionaire, you know what I mean? The reason I like barbering is because there's no cap in this industry. It's, it allows you to be your own boss. It allows you to be your creative self. You can, you can dress in a suit and tie, three piece with a, with a hat, or you can dress in, in you know, some gym clothes and be a barber. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's who you want to cater to. It, it's, it, it's just the avenue of barbering in the hair industry is so vast that you could literally have many source of income or one source of income or you can, I mean, you could be the neighborhood barber or you could be the, the franchise company. I mean, there's no cap to the industry and, and being able to be all those things, you know, and, and uh, going through different types of jobs back in the past with no connection to those things or them settling within me as a passion, um, it just, it helped me you know, when I started getting into barbering, it helped me like um, want to, you know, just put that out there a thousand, a thousand times fold. So, uh, yeah, man. I mean, it's really, it's really that there's really all possibilities in this industry that kind of caught my eye. You go to college out here, bro, or you? Uh... Um, I go to a brand new prep school here. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, so we're gonna be playing like the best teams in the nation. That's cool. Trying to get a card, bro? Uh, yeah, a green jacket or what? I'm trying. Hell yeah.
gotta get them shoulder workouts in. I know, dude. I'm kind of exposing myself right now, huh? Trying to get that great detail, you know. But I get slapped. Yeah. Are they the, the, the razor blade or the, the whole no, thing? the whole thing. Oh, okay. It's made out of plastic. Huh. I might have check it out. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. You know Ray, he's a... Uh,
tell me about your first haircut and how much did you charge? <laughs> So, I mean, you know, you gotta start somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere. Uh, I was charging $5 out the garage when I first started cutting uh, on the weekends. It was eight bucks. Um, you know, and back then, it was, I wasn't doing crazy haircuts. I was doing tapers, lineups. If it was a design, it was a two lines or it was a star. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't anything crazy. So, uh, yeah, man, started in the garage and Kept working my way, worked with my buddy Eddie a little bit, cut my buddy James' hair. I know, uh, uh, you know, I have a lot of uh, cultural, different uh, cultures, you know. I grew up in different types of cultures, so I was always cutting different ethnicities and stuff like that. And I remember, you know, people thinking, oh yeah, he's a white guy, he can't cut my hair. But then my best friend over here, um, they'd see his cut and want to get cut by me. So it's really, it's just really, uh, I don't know, it's something. I started on friends, I started on family members, I started, you know, stuff like that, and just kept practicing. I always wanted to be, wanted my next haircut to be better than my last, so. Yeah.